fact is if something is done by God in the earth today Holy it is done by the Holy Ghost today. this includes Holy visions Ghost of Jesus the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words my name is Andrew Hemstraw Jesus thank you for joining right us here. if this is your first time here make sure you subscribe Ghost if this God isn't your first time here today. and these messages are blessing you then consider becoming a partner with us my desire is to help you in this life this life of knowing the Holy Ghost and walking with the Holy Ghost as God in the earth today getting you into this life of walking with him but once you're in that life then walking with him in the earth well many hurdles may be needed to get over hurdles that have been erected in your mind by wrong thinking even more so by religious doctrines that are keeping you out we're going to destroy those things and sometimes what you have to do is answer questions that these religious things bring up so there are questions that if you can get the right answer and lots of times your religious doctrine and the way you were brought up and your wrong thinking doesn't give you the right answer leaves you more confused but if you can get the right answer then you can have that fog removed and when the fog is taken away you will see that it is just you and the Holy Ghost who is God in the earth today and you're walking with him it's simple it's clean it's elegant one such question has to do with people having visions of Jesus or so-called visitations with Jesus in the earth today because that would seem to contradict my statement that it's just you and the Holy Ghost walking together in the earth people do have visions of Jesus in our day experiences of Jesus speaking to them talking to them appearing to them I'm not saying that isn't true I've had visions of Jesus so let's examine the scriptures about where Jesus is and look at these visitations in the light of those scriptures are you all right with that Acts chapter 1 verse 9 and when he had spoken these things while they beheld he was taken up and a cloud received him out of their sight so he was standing there physically and he went up into a cloud and was taken physically out of their sight he was no longer there and while they looked steadfastly toward heaven as he went up behold two men stood by them in white apparel verse 11 which also said ye men of Galilee why stand ye gazing up into heaven this same Jesus the same Jesus that they saw go up this same Jesus which is taken up from you into heaven shall so come in like manner as you have seen him go into heaven has this happened no it has not happened and therefore Jesus this same Jesus the real Jesus the actual physical Jesus is still in heaven to this very day and shall return according to Scripture shall return means he has not returned where is he he's still in heaven let's read that Acts chapter 2 verse 32 this Jesus hath God raised up whereof we all are witnesses now he is literally just talking about the raising up that just happened 
in acts chapter 1 that we just read he's not talking about being raised from the dead here he's being he's talking about jesus being raised from the earth and going into heaven therefore being by the right hand of god exalted he went up this jesus the same jesus god raised up and being that's the present tense form he is there being by the right hand of god exalted hath received of the father the promise of the holy ghost he hath shed forth this which you now see and hear that happened to be the day of pentecost when the holy ghost came into the earth so jesus was raised up sat down at the right hand of the father and sent the holy ghost just like he said he would where is jesus at the right hand of the father being where is the holy ghost sent the holy ghost holy ghost is now in the earth the holy ghost dispensation and when it says jesus sat down it means he sat down when there's authority and sent another that now has the authority to do as he wills in the earth that's the holy ghost so jesus is not here in the earth the holy ghost is here in the earth john chapter 14 verse 16 jesus said i will pray the father and he shall give you another comforter that he may abide with you forever even the spirit of truth did he do that yes he went there he prayed the father and sent they sent another comforter they sent another with full authority to be with you in the earth who be with you therefore in the earth holy ghost be with you therefore in the earth where be jesus jesus be be being at the right hand of god still to this very day and the holy ghost is the one with full authority in the earth are you getting this and we walk with him full authority means he can say and do as he sees fit he's god and he's in the earth doing as he wills and i'm going to show you this scripturally if someone has a vision of jesus if they're having this vision in the earth it must be by an operation of the holy ghost who is god in the earth the vision is just that a vision of jesus by an operation of the holy ghost who is in the earth revelations chapter one we know that this was written by the apostle john and john and had this revelation and jesus appeared to him would anyone doubt those words or argue with those words jesus appeared to him right and believe me whatever vision or visitation you have or have had or shall have won't be any more scriptural than this this is literally scripture so whatever whatever experience you had won't be more scriptural than this does that make sense revelation chapter 1 verse 10 i john was in the spirit on the lord's day and heard behind me a great voice so where was john and he goes on he's going to have a vision and a revelation and all these things happening where was john when this happened oh he was on the island of patmos yeah he was physically on the island of patmos but here it says i was in the spirit now you we can go and we can talk about what that actually means but in any definition it means he was under the influence of the spirit or the holy ghost does that make sense he was under the influence of the holy ghost to such a degree that he could say he was in the spirit i was in the spirit on the lord's day and heard behind me a great voice as of a trumpet right 
and the voice began to say things and verse 12 and I turned to see the voice which spake so here he said he's in the spirit and he heard and he saw so it was by an operation of the Holy Ghost that he heard and he saw Jesus wasn't in the earth the Holy Ghost is the one in the earth and by an operation of the Holy Ghost who is God in the earth he heard and he saw Jesus are you here scriptural your vision or visitation of Jesus wasn't more scriptural than that Revelation 2 verse 7 he that has an ear let him hear what the Spirit saith to the churches and he goes on verse 11 he that has an ear let him hear what the Spirit saith to the churches verse 17 he that has an ear let him hear what the Spirit saith to the churches verse 29 he that has an ear let him hear what the Spirit saith to the churches chapter 3 it's going on here chapter 3 verse 6 he that has an ear let him hear what the Spirit saith to the churches who's talking through this vision he that has an ear let him hear what the Spirit is saying another scriptural example of Jesus appearing Jesus appeared in vision form by an operation of the Holy Ghost obviously are you still here to Paul on the road to Damascus and he heard and saw Acts 26 verse 19 he was talking to the king about this whereupon O King Agrippa I was not disobedient unto the heavenly vision Paul describing this experience he had with Jesus appearing to him said I was not disobedient to the heavenly vision it was a vision how did he have a vision the Holy Ghost must have operated it in the earth because he is God in the earth are you getting this that's scriptural and your vision wasn't more scriptural than that this too was an operation of the Holy Ghost for he is God in the earth today he's the only part of the Godhead in the earth today another example Acts chapter 7 are you all right with me being scriptural you know why there's nothing more scriptural than these because they're actual scriptures Acts chapter 7 verse 54 now this was this was Stephen and he had just finished preaching and uh, they didn't like it and were about to stone him when they heard these things they were cut to the heart and they gnashed on him with their teeth verse 55 but he being full of the Holy Ghost looked up steadfastly into heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing on the right hand of God here it says the Holy Ghost was with Stephen and Stephen his eyes were opened and he saw Jesus standing on the right hand of God are you here how did Stephen see Jesus by an operation of the Holy Ghost who was God in the earth that day does this make sense so these visitations were simply visions operations of the Holy Ghost who is God in the earth today first Corinthians chapter 12 and verse 11 but all these worketh that one and selfsame spirit dividing to every man severally as he will so here we can see that the Holy Ghost is doing all these worketh all these things as he wills whether it's a vision whether it's a revelation it's him because he's the only God in the earth today he's the only one that does these things 
all these worketh that one and self same spirit as he wills hear what the spirit saith see now holy ghost worshipers get this for us this makes perfect sense for the religious minded person this is very hard to receive and if you knew him as god you would worship him and you would see that he is the only part of the godhead in the earth today and if there's a vision or a revelation or anything it is by him and his operation because he is the one we walk with he's the one with whom we have to do second corinthians chapter 3 verse 17 now the lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the lord is or where the spirit is lord there is liberty now the lord with full authority in the earth is that spirit you will never get this revelation without worshiping him as god but when you do the veil will be taken away and the fog will begin to dissipate and you will see that it is just you and him and him and you in the earth walking together fulfilling scripture many remain behind the veil they're still in the fog of religious tradition and wrong thinking the fact is if something is done by god in the earth today it is done by the holy ghost and an operation of the holy ghost who is god in the earth today with full authority to do as he wills this includes visions and revelations of jesus but that doesn't mean that jesus returned and it doesn't mean that jesus actual jesus is in the earth doing something are you here it's still an operation and act and doing something of the Holy Ghost welcome Luke chapter 4 verse 8 says thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only serve if he wills you as you're worshiping him and serving him if he wills for you to have a vision or a revelation of Jesus it will still be an operation of him in your life get that straight because the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and Jesus the real Jesus is still in heaven and shall return the another is here the another is with you today in the earth greet him know him walk with him worship him it's just you and the Holy Ghost walking together in the earth it's clean it's simple it's elegant and it's more effective than all the other religious garbage you've been doing worship him walk with him learn how to speak in agreement with his word and your life will completely change I promise you I testify that this is true thank you for listening Holy Ghost I thank you for blessing these people that your grace and anointing is on them to know you as God the only God the true and living God who walks the earth with people who worship him and speak his words if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost you are the living God you're the only God in the earth today I worship you and I walk with you by saying words I am blessed I am made rich with no sorrow added wealth and riches shall be in my house I give you all the glory in Jesus name amen the father is in heaven Jesus at his right God.